And we are back to business, guys. Yes, live streams ready to go again. We would make a return after, I think it was a month since the last live stream. Um, as I say, I hope you've all been keeping well, um, not having any football to watch and maybe just, uh, yeah, just chilling out and uh, enjoying the Glasgow sunshine like I'm seeing right now. But um, guys, yeah, Celtic versus Rapid Vienna or Rapid Vienna versus Celtic in the friendly. Yeah, friendly, I think. Yeah, Celtic are out in Austria at the moment on a pre-season tour, or I think. And uh, yeah, currently, um, yeah, going to be playing against Rapid Vienna. Uh, this is their second pre-season match for Celtic. They played against Victoria or Vina Victoria um, and beat them 7-0. So a very convincing win there. I do think Rapid will be a, a harder test. Uh, Rapid Vienna, I feel like, uh, do play European football from time to time. So, yeah, this is a, uh, a good chance now for Celtic to really test himself against a decent European opposition, Rapid Vienna, uh, playing out in the Austrian Bundesliga. I'm not sure how they do in terms of what they did last year. I'm sure RB Salzburg probably won that division. I think they've on course for seven in a row. But um, yeah, a decent test against a, a decent European side here. And um, yeah, I don't think there'll be as many goals as that game against uh, Weiner Victoria. Uh, but guys, come on, let's get in the old live chat. Long time no see. Uh, what have you, information have you got for me? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and all that good stuff as well. Um, if there's any Rangers fans that are on this live stream, uh, breaking news actually just now, Joe Rebo has uh, said his farewell message to the Rangers support and uh, leaves the football club. We'll talk about that in the next live stream at 8 o'clock with Rangers against Sunderland. Um, in terms of Celtic transfer news, I'm seeing so many reports uh, that Jordan Larson is heating up. Celtic have actually contacted... Uh, the players' representatives. So could uh, another Larson be on their way to Celtic Park this summer? Uh, easy win for Rapid, says Cooked to Gills. Good to see you, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, let me try and get this live stream up on another device. Thank you. There we go. Should be it. Happy days. Cool. Um, yeah, Celtic TV. I think this one's on, by the way. Two seconds. Who have we got in the old live chat? Anyone special? Anyone nice? It's felt a long, little bit of a long time actually since I did these live streams. Yeah, happy day. Sorry, guys. I'm just setting up the uh, the actual match itself. Again, kickoffs in around 12 minutes. Uh, Celtics lineup is actually out. I'll just go through those lineups now, in fact, uh, and discuss to you who Celtic are going to be starting with their 11. Of course, a friendly match. So you, <clears throat> you can sort of just bring on who you want, when you want, and sort of change the team around every sort of um, how, when you feel like it. Uh, two seconds, troops. So I've just got a bit of admin to do before we do this. Uh, and then we'll get to grips with everything. There we go. See, I like to have the live chat on here. It's a lot more easier for me. There we go. Cool. Um, <clears throat> John Maffitt, good to see you, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, Rangers beat them 3-1 a few years ago. Yeah, I remember in the Europa League, but I think Rapid Vienna actually beat Rangers as well, to be fair, um, away from home, because Rangers failed to qualify for the Europa League that time, I'm sure. Uh, Jordan Larson should be coming to Celtic, follow his father's footsteps, no doubt about it, says Stein Kelly. Again, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because, um, you know, it's always romantic that a player like him could could return to Celtic or no, say return to Celtic, his son to, to come to Celtic. But then again, he has huge, huge shoes to fill. And I feel like he'd be always compared to his by his father. And realistically, I don't think he's going to be as good as his father, of course. Um, but yeah, it could be a good signing. And definitely, I think um, definitely gets into that Celtic attack. A lot of teams after him and a free transfer. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I don't think you cannot go wrong with that at all. So yeah, that's good to see. Um, Sound uh, Who else we got here in the live chat? Good to see Scott Dawson. 3 1 uh, rapid easy. What time is the Rangers Sunderland game on, mate? It's on 8 o'clock. We're going to be doing the Rangers game, mate, as well. Of course, I'm going to miss that. Of course, we're going to do the Rangers game. A um, couple of new players there as well. Celtic got a couple of new players. I'm going to see who Celtic are starting tonight, in fact, in terms of their new players. Let's have a little look on the lineup. I did see the lineup 
briefly earlier on. Uh, Celtic Football Club. Uh, here it is here. Nope, that's the Rapid Vienna team. <laughs> I was thinking, what? Uh, so Joe Hart starts in goal. Uh, Uzazi Agidi, Welsh, Carter Vickers, Bernabe, Callum McGregor, O'Reilly, Hatate, Jota, Maida, and Yakamakis. Uh, on the bench there is Bain, Segrist, Olayemi, Julian, Taylor, Kyogo, Yeti, Abada, Turnbull, McCarthy, uh, Johnston, Idagushi, Kenny, Shaw, Forrest, Lawl, and Vata. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Celtic, as I say, they can make as many substitutions as they want. So a lot of sort of teams can play this evening. Uh... Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to set up the, uh, the, the the girlfriend's old computer for the game tonight. So I'm a bit multitasking. Uh, Karma says, 4-1 to Celtic is my opinion. Uh, always have to think where we would rather be, cold in North Scotland or in the south of Italy. I mean, it's quite warm today in Glasgow, actually. I remember a rapid Vienna knocking Celtic out at Old Trafford when the fans attacked their goalkeeper. Uh, first team lineup. Yeah, I did go through it there just then, mate. I went through it. It is Hart, Agidi, Welsh, Carter Vickers, Bernabe, McGregor, O'Reilly, Hatate, Jota, Maeda, and Yakimakis. So um, a strong lineup there from Celtic. Agidi. I remember, was, was he not on loan last season somewhere? I don't know where he went. Did he go on loan to a Belgian team? Am I, am I getting that correctly? Or is it a Dutch team that he went to? I can't remember. Just off the top of my head there. Um, but yeah, what's your score predictions for this evening? It feels like a long time. I feel like a bit of... Um, I feel like I haven't done this in a long time. Live stream. It's been about a month, I think. We did do a national game, an international game a bit earlier on, didn't we? At um, Scotland v Ukraine. Yeah, that was a disappointing game, that actually. Happy days. Players are coming out, ready to go. Why are Rapid Vienna giving Celtic a guard of honour? Are they? Oh, no, they're kids. <laughs> that makes sense. That I was going to say, why the hell are the players giving them a guard of honour? Uh, KP Boys says Celtic to win 3-0. Uh, Rangers to lose 2-0 because they're pish, says KP Boy. Uh, yes, Stuart Pease. Vienna to win 2-1. Easy 3-0 Celtic, says Stein Kelly. Here we go. I think players are coming out ready to go. So that's seven minutes till kickoff. But as I say, they are coming out. Green and white versus green and white. Yeah, I remember I went to go see Rapid Vienna one one year, actually. It was uh, a good game. I've got, uh, I do keep my eye on the Austrian league, weirdly enough. I don't know why. Do you know what it is? I think I just like the stadiums. I don't know. Uh, something about the Austrian stadiums that I like. I'm a bit of... Um, I, mate, it just sounds so stupid why I like them. But yeah, I... I got an eye on the Austrian league. <laughs> I don't watch it, but I just keep my eye on it. I like the, I like the look of the stadiums in Austria for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, Salzburg, are, I think they've dominated that league for years. Rapid Vienna, are like the most successful team, I think. But yeah, apart from that, they haven't. I don't think they've won, challenged in a little while though. To be fair, oh, fuck's sake, down to business. Uh, can start football phoning show says uh, Sean Maxwell maybe man maybe I've got a lot of commitments these days boys I've got a lot of commitments I would love to do that though it'd be funny oh they got safe standing there as well in the Rapid Vienna actually stadium look at that I like a real real cool setup I think Celtic have got safe standing haven't they yeah they've, they've got a little section I think to have uh, safe standing um, don't worry, it's mass tomorrow, says John Maffet. Alexander Wilkinson says 4-1 Celtic win. Any news? Oh, Jesus, guys. Keep it keep it clean in the live chat today, troops. Um, cheers, good man. 4-2 Rangers later, says Scott Dawson. Yeah, I can see it happening, that being the case. To be fair, Sunderland finally got promotion this year, actually, out of League One. I think we're, we're, we're the playoff final. We've been down there for years, Sunderland. Big side. Uh, some decent fans as well. So, yeah, it's been a long, long time since they were up in the the top division. Um, how many times will Celtic get put out of Europe before the new year? I think they can only get put out of Europe once, and that's if they lose in the Champions League, eh? 
Uh, other games going on tonight is uh, Rapid, no, sorry, Spartak Moscow versus Zenit St. Petersburg in the Russian Super Cup final. You know, Russia oblivious to the rest of the world, still playing, still playing football and stuff like that. Still going about normal business. Uh, Cork City versus Stoke in that five o'clock kickoff. Thought the Celtic fans maybe maybe wanted to keep an eye on that game as well. I don't know. Um, it seemed like the only five o'clock kickoff that I could find that was in relation to um, Celtic, I suppose. So there you go. Cork City versus Stoke, which is on later. <clears throat> Start, guys, the views are starting to go up. Let's, uh, let's get, uh, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. If this is the first time uh, you are here on the channel, we do do all the games, really, in terms of uh, live streams and stuff like that. Going to be doing all the friendlies. Going to be doing the Champions League qualifiers. Going to be doing the Europa League qualifier for Heart of Midlovian. Um, and, you know, some of the other sides that are in the Conference League. Dundee United, can they get into the, into the group stages? My guess is probably not. Um, but, yeah, Hearts. In Europe this year, Celtic, of course, in the Champions League. Rangers looking to get into the Champions League. So we'll be doing those games. Some Celtic fans have flown out for the Austrian pre-tour, uh, pre-season tour. Enjoying a bit of sun in Vienna. As we're a couple of minutes away here from kickoff. And, uh, yeah. To be fair, I don't, mind, I don't, I don't even mind the, uh, the pre-season friendlies. I always quite get a bit of enjoyment out of them. I know they're not competitive, but it's quite good to see your new players just to get a run out. And after a month of not watching games and stuff like that, you're, you're pretty buzzing just to, just to get things going. Carl says, say we're crap. We got to the Europa League final and you won the most pointless title ever. Uh, John says, we'll be a tough game. We say 2-1 Celtic. Nice one. Cool. Right, here they come. Players are coming out to the field. I'm about to get under. Double header tonight, guys, by the way. We've got Celtic versus Rapid Vienna now. And then we've got Rangers versus Sunderland at 8 o'clock tonight. Looking forward to that one as well. Uh, Rangers, of course, signed two players over the last two days. Another one's set to be imminent. And uh, Joe Rebo, breaking news for the Jazz fans in here, has just announced that he is leaving the football club. So there you go. Yeah, Rebo's gone. Arebo's gone. He's posted it online. Poor kid. Ah, oh, big Joe Rebo. Southampton. I mean, Southampton's done pretty well with Scottish players. You look at you look at Van Dyke. He went there and really impressed. Went on to do big things. Obviously at Liverpool now. I think Armstrong went to Southampton as well, didn't he, from Scotland? And then you've got Stephen Davis, who went from um, to Southampton as well, made a career down there in the Premier League as well. So, um, yeah, I think it's a decent move for him, to be fair. Southampton's one of those sides that will actually play uh, the, the players that they pay money for. And, um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's a good move. Southampton's a decent Premier League side. Uh, Barry says Sunderland 4-0, Rangers maybe 4-1, at least give them a goal. Santoy says, what's with the current Rangers obsessing over Celtic? Can you hear him? What's Celtic's lineup? Let me just go through it again. Yeah, I'm having a brew on a hot day in Glasgow, I don't know why, but I am. So it's Hart in goal, Aguidi, Welsh, Carter Vickers, Bernabe, McGregor, O'Reilly, Hatate, Jota, Maeda, and Yakamakis up top there. Uh, in terms of the substitute bench for Celtic, they've got Bain, Segrist, Oli Wayemi, uh, Julian Taylor, Kyogo, Ayeti, Abada, Turnbull, McCarthy, Johnston, Idigushi, Kenny, Shaw, Forrest, Lawl, and Vata. Um, so a strong side there from Celtic. Well, as I say, Preseason friendly, there's no sort of um, caps on your substitutions. You can bring players on, bring players off, etc., etc., throughout the game. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm sure uh, you'll see two different Celtic sides over 45 minutes as they look to gear themselves up and get ready. Celtic have got a pretty jam packed preseason tour. This is game number two. They won the first one 7 0 against Victoria Vienna. Um, they've got a game coming up against Legia of Warsaw, Blackburn, Norwich, I think coming up there also as well. Um, and of course, Rangers preseason tour starts tonight against Sunderland and they've got, um, who have Rangers got? They've got Spurs, Blackpool, um, 
I can't remember some of the other sides. Blackpool's on there. Spurs is on there. And I can't remember. I can't remember the last the other side there as well. But there is a yeah, a fair few. Celtic in their new away strip. The black green stripes. So a lot of people with that shirt on around here lately, to be fair. They're down in the Queen's Park area. It's a dominated Celtic area, I think. Everyone's wearing Celtic jerseys around here. But yeah. All right, let's get some fucking atmosphere on there. Let's have a listen to this. Don't copyright me, Celtic. Yeah, Jota obviously signing on a permanent deal. I don't know if Celtic are. The Celtic are expected to do a couple more signs. I think they're looking to try and bring about two or three more players. Uh, there's talks of Jordan Larson this morning that uh, Celtic are in negotiations with the club's rep uh, the players' representatives over bringing a return or what well, I, I keep saying return or bringing a player. Um, who obviously is the son of a Celtic legend uh, to the football club for free. That's uh, a decent, I'd be, I think it'd be a decent bit of business if Celtic can pull that one off. I think he's a decent striker in terms of uh, the way he's been playing through Sparta at Moscow. There's a lot of suitors for him, still young. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if that one happens. Uh, but we're about to get underway here. At Rapid Vienna um, are the side who are going to get us started. Celtic obviously in their huddle. And uh, kickoff is underway here. Sun oh, that was it. The West Ham was the other side. Yeah, I can write that. Thanks for that one, Will Brad. Um, I'm going to... I would go for the rapid Vienna players. I just can't... I just don't want to make myself look at an ass and butcher all the... Uh, and butcher all of them. In fact, it's going to be Celtic who's going to get us underway here. Celtic going from right to left. Rapid Vienna going from left to right. And we are underway here in Vienna. Celtic uh, get us started here. Running down that left-hand side. Ball forward here to Tate. Tate pushing through there to Callum McGregor. McGregor down that right-hand side here again. Celtic just driving forward. Looking to try and find a way through. And that's blocked away there by the home side. And that goes out of play. Ball forward there again <clears throat> from Rapid Vienna. Days in Maeda. Callum McGregor. Now Callum McGregor dies down that left-hand side here again. Pushes forward. Celtic back on the ball. Now finds the goalkeeper. Down that right-hand side, Hart. Out to Aguidi. Aguidi not really playing much last year for Celtic. He went on loan, I believe. I can't... I was having this conversation earlier. I can't remember where he was out on loan. I'll have to give that a Google. Um... Something in Belgium springs to mind, but we'll have a little look. Agidi. Um, yeah, yeah, he was. He was out on loan at Ostersend. So, yeah, Belgian side there. Here comes Stephen Welsh. Welsh back out to Hart. Celtic moving forward here again down that right-hand side. Finds a way through. Back over to Hatate. Hatate down the left-hand side to Maeda. And that's cleared away there by Rapid Vienna. And in fact, that comes off Maeda. And it's going to go out for a goal kick to the home side. And Vienna push the ball out the other way. I haven't Stuart, mate, unfortunately. Ball forward here again from Rapid Vienna. Down that left-hand side. Hitting it over the top. Back over to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper distributes it out to that right side. And now Rapid Vienna moving forward. But ball goes out of play. It's going to go up for another Celtic throw-in. Another throw there. One by Celtic. Headed back down there by Rapid Vienna. Rapid Vienna now going the other way. Celtic win the ball back there with Welsh. Again, cleared away there by Rapid Vienna. And blocked there again by Celtic and back out of play. Have Rapid scored yet? Still nil-nil here in Vienna. The Jazz fans that are in here, yeah, we've got the, the big game uh, against Sunderland tonight. Going to be a cracker. I think that's live from Portugal. 
It's on Premier Sports as well. They're getting the, all the rights for Scottish football. To be fair, I like the Premier Sports coverage of, of the Scottish game. Hopefully, after the Sky Sports deal is finished, they can uh, take over the, the domestic of the league games as well. They do some good coverage on the Cup and the, and like the friendly matches and stuff like that. BT do really good coverage on European games. It's just getting rid of Sky now in terms of the league games, I think. Ball forward again now here from Rapid Vienna. Cleared away again there by Celtic. Here's Callum McGregor. And Tate wins the ball back again. That goes out for a throw in here for Celtic. Ball over the top here again from Matt O'Reilly. Maeda cleared away again there from Rapid. Now out to Matt O'Reilly. O'Reilly pushing forward here for Celtic. Headed back down there again. And cleared away there by Rapid Vienna. Rapid Vienna back in possession. Looking to try and control the ball. Maeda wins the ball back, but Rapid Vienna are set loose. And they come and going down that left-hand side. And Nagidi just gets to the opposition attacker. And that's cleared away. Back into possession now is Rapid. Good opportunity now here again. And that's brought down on the edge of the box there by Osazi Agidi. And that's going to be a free kick, I think, just outside the box for Rapid Vienna. In fact, I think it was Carter Vickers. Yeah, Carter Vickers just bringing him down as he fell and tripped. And now uh, Rapid Vienna have a real good chance to take the lead here in the Vienna sunshine. Joe Hart orchestrating where his wall wants to go. And the Scottish champions have given away a free kick in a fairly decent position here for Rapid Vienna. Ball sent into the area again now for Vienna. Ball into the box. And that's cleared away. And that goes right over the top. And out for a goal kick here for Celtic. What's Joe Hart doing? Woolbrad says, I don't like Premier Sports. Some of their cameras go down well too easy and their signal's not strong enough. You see them struggle in the qualifications last year. Oh, yeah, with that guy. <laughs> that guy. But, I mean, it's the effort. I like the effort. that the, Maybe the coverage isn't good in terms of the game, but, I mean, that's the most important part. But I do like the coverage, like the build-up to the matches. I do like build-ups in games, you know? Um, I feel like they, they put a decent effort in. Like BT used to back in the day, right? Here comes Welsh again. Welsh forward. Now back over to Osazi Agidi. Agidi down that right hand side. Celtic looking to try and find a way through. And again, blocked away there by Rapid Vienna. Now goes back out for another throw in here for Celtic as they look to try and uh, break the deadlock. Six or seven minutes bin. Still nil nil here in Vienna. Back out for another throw in there from Celtic. Guys, if you haven't already, guys, please do smash that like button. Let's try and get to 100 likes by the end of this game. There's about 300 people here in the live stream. but So big shout out to you um, who are watching from home. But yeah, if you can do us a favor, hit that like button. Hit the old subscribe button as well, as uh, we will be doing live streams throughout the whole of the season, as always. Going into the third season of doing live streams now, you know, I'm sort of becoming a bit of a professional. This is my preseason as well, getting uh, slightly warmed up for it as well. So... Um, yeah, thanks for bearing with me. Here comes Rapid Vienna again now. Down that right-hand side. Looking for another opportunity to try and break the deadlock. The Austrian side pushing forward yet again. Ball into the area from Vienna. And again, just cleared away there by Celtic. Comes back to Austria, uh, back to Vienna again. Cleared away by Celtic just about again. And uh, that goes back out of play. In fact, that's going to be a Celtic free kick. And Carter Vickers takes that one quickly. Here's Welsh again. Welsh driving forward. Back through to Matt O'Reilly. Blocked again there by Vienna. Now Vienna back in the possession. Down that right-hand side for Vienna. And again, Celtic just winning the ball back there with Callum McGregor. Callum McGregor driving his way through this Vienna midfield. Callum McGregor pushing forward with some intent. Comes down to that right-hand side. Can he find an option there? Callum McGregor does find Hatate. Hatate in a good area. Here's a good opportunity now here for Celtic. Ball into the area. And a good save there by the Rapid Vienna goalkeeper. Celtic nearly let loose. And Celtic nearly finding the uh, 
opening goal of this match, but just blocked there again by the goalkeeper. Ross Wilson says, got my uh, mum and L Buffalo t-shirt. She loves it. Cheers, Ross Wilson, man. What a hero. Uh, they're absolute belters, man. I love the L Buffalo t-shirts. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, sh I'll show them off on the Rangers stream, man. It's, they're, they're sick. I love them. And uh, it's Rapid Vienna again. And that's again cleared away. Sorry for my lack of names, uh, my name knowledge on the, the Vienna players. I haven't got an apps. I haven't got a bubble uh, on terms of the Austrian pronunciation. And it seems like all their players are Austrian. Son Bocher. Down that right-hand side here again now. Into the box now here for Rapid Vienna. And again, just cleared away there by Celtic again. Here's a Gidi. A Gidi back into Callum McGregor. McGregor forward. A Gidi driving forward yet again as well. Now back to Joe Hart. Right over the top. Cleared away again there by... Vienna, here comes Rio Atate, Maeda, Maeda forward, Maeda into a decent area now here for Celtic. And Atate just cleared that one away, back through here to Matt O'Reilly, and he lets loose. Oh, it's in the back of the net, and Celtic have taken the lead here in uh, Vienna. I think it's Matt O'Reilly with the opening goal here for Celtic. Uh, Vienna, nil, Celtic, one. Matt O'Reilly, the goal scorer here for Celtic. So we approach 10 minutes on the clock. As I say, Celtic have already broken that deadlock. Good to see Basher, boy. Hope you're well. Martin Ross, happy. Good to see you, Martin. Hope you're well. Straight into there. Decent finish there by Matt O'Reilly. Be looking to add some more numbers to his game this season. Came in in January, a full pre-season behind him. It was fairly impressive when he arrives in January for Celtic, to be fair. But be looking to go again next season. Here's the Vienna goalkeeper back into collection there again from Hart. Down that right-hand side here again for Celtic. Celtic here with McGregor. McGregor forward. Now into the area again, now on that right-hand side. Celtic moving forward. Now finds a way through to Yakimakis. He just loses control of possession and gives it back to Vienna. Now Vienna back in possession as they drive forward. Is their right back. Now back over to the goalkeeper. Long ball hit over the top there by the keeper. Headed back down by Celtic and again goes back out of play. And it's going to go out for another rapid Vienna throw in. How have you all been enjoying the summer holidays? Been fun? Another way through there again. Callum McGregor just winning the ball back here for Celtic again as they look to try and find goal number two. Yakimakis looking to unleash Mayada and again just cleared away there by Vienna. I will be basher boy. I'll be I'll be streaming the Rangers game. Don't worry. Yakimakis just cleared it away. Jota and big Matt O'Reilly. That was a good finish by Matt O'Reilly right into the bottom left hand corner. Now back over to the keeper here. Rapid Vienna back in possession yet again. Yeah, season starts very, very soon, troops. July 30th. Looking forward to it. Mark your calendars. I think Rangers kick us off against Livingston. No, sorry. Celtic kick us off against... I can't remember who Celtic are playing. Um, it's, I can't remember. It's a home game. But yeah, Rangers play Livingston away at Tony Macaroni. Goes back out of play yet again. Now for another throw in Atate moving forward yet yeah, for Celtic. Here's Welsh. Welsh down that right hand side yet again now here for Celtic. Agidi, Hart. Back to Welsh again. Welsh back to Hart. Hart coming out as he always often does. Said that so much last season. Hart being a part of the build-up play for Celtic's attack. Here they come down that right-hand side again here, Celtic. Cleared away again there by Rapid Vienna. Rapid Vienna back in possession as they come down this left-hand side. Opportunity again now in the midfield. Long ball over the top. Here come Vienna. Vienna pushing through. Manages to keep it in. 
now looking to try and conjure up an attack here, Vienna. Vienna up into the area. And sounds to just clear that one away. And it's going to go up for a corner here to the home side. Uh, John Laurie says Aberdeen. That's it. Aberdeen. Tough, tough game. Start of the season. They've been making moves this season. So that six million hit the bank account from uh, Calvin Ramsey. Send this one back into the area again now here for Vienna. Vienna back into the box. And Celtic just had that one away again. Tate just clearing it away also. And now here come Vienna. Vienna into the area. Cleared away by Celtic. Good opportunity. Oh, and Hart, what a save. Uh, just as their number nine took a shot from outside the box. Hart jumped down and uh, managed to get that one. Good reaction there from Joe Hart. And now here come Vienna yet again. Vienna ball, back on the ball. Down that right-hand side. Hits it over the top yet again. Now along that left-hand side. Back over to their central defensive midfielder. Now back through to the defensive. Rapid Vienna looks to try and keep possession and way up and find a way through this Celtic midfield. Ball back into the area again now here from Vienna. Their number nine forward. Blocked again there by Celtic. Celtic driving through. And Vienna. Mack all the way over to the goalkeeper. Forward yet again now here from Vienna. Vienna into the area. Here's a good opportunity for them now. Down this left-hand side. Vienna. Nice little layoff ball into the box. And decent header there again from... Cameron Carter-Vickers. It was Callum McGregor who cleared that one away. Callum McGregor's everywhere in this match. Tack in defensively. Good player, Callum McGregor. Mm. Standing servant at Celtic. Now he comes back over to that right-hand side here, Vienna. Ball back into the box. And again, cleared away there by Celtic yet again. Into the area. Oh! Oh, a good opportunity and a good stop there again from Joe Hart. Joe Hart was alert and was and managed to bring him down and get a decent save, get a hand to it. As Vienna came forward yet again then. Oh, that was a good stop. Had to be alert. Comes back out to that left-hand side here again now from Vienna. His heart. Back over to Stephen Welsh. Welsh back out to Hatate. Hatate forward. Hatate looking to try and find a way through. Here's Welsh again. Welsh in over the top. Down that right hand side here again from Celtic. Callum McGregor. McGregor forward. Welsh back on the ball. Here's Hatate again. Hatate looking to try and find an option and find a way through this Vienna block. I missed the star. Who scored? It was Matt O'Reilly, Caesar. Matt O'Reilly. Decent chance here again now from Celtic. Ball forward. And now is Atate and a good clearance there again from the Rapid Vienna defence. As that goes out for a throw in here to Celtic. It's it forward. Ball into the area again. Chance and Vienna just clearing that one away yet again. Vienna hit it down the left-hand side. Cleared away there by Celtic once again. Celtic back in possession here with Osazi Agidi. Question is, will he play a part this season for Celtic? Celtic fans, what do you think? Osazi Agidi, will he be playing a part for Celtic this season? Or is he surplus to requirements in the nicest way possible? I think it was Ange Postagoglu's first ever signing, by the way. Here's Yakimakis. Decent ball through and again cleared away there by Vienna. Now back to their keeper. Risky playing that one at the back there, Vienna. But managed to get rid. It's back over the top. Back goes out for another throw in. Now Vienna back in possession. Ange 
Alexander Wilkinson says yes. He would like to see Ozazi Agidi get a chance, would you? Fair play, man. Michael McKeary absolutely will play a part. Here's another throw. Here's another free kick here for the home side as they look to try and test the Celtic defence once more. Big signing Cameron Carter Vickers was so solid at the back last season. Question is, does Celtic need another centre back? Celtic fans, let me know where you. Well, firstly, let me know are you happy with the transfer business so far this summer and. Who would you add? Who? What other players do you think Celtic need to add? Uh, tell me some positions, maybe some players. I've heard Jordan Larson. The club are interested in Jordan Larson. Well, talks are ongoing with his representatives. But where do you think Celtic need to strengthen? Obviously, he brought in Bernabe at left back. Carter Vickers in the defence, who was already there last season. Same with Jota. Brought him in. Um, and then, of course, Benjamin Segrist. But where else does Celtic need to strengthen? Here comes Vienna again. Down that right-hand side is another opportunity for Vienna. Vienna over the top. They're number seven moving forward. Looking to try and find a way through. This is a decent ball in. Oh, and that's a chance. And that just goes wide at the post. Um, and almost just caught Carter Vickers off guard there. The number nine. And uh, clears that one away. Bergstuhler, his name is. Andrew Harvey says Moy. Michael says 100% centre half required. Do you not feel Carl Star felt was good enough? Maybe you just need some depth, don't you? You just need a bit of depth for the season, especially if you're playing Champions League. I think you just need that extra player. I would personally say Celtic need a new. Oh, I'd say another midfield option, another midfield option there as well. I know you've got Idigushi and all of that. Maybe. A, all that. Uh, yeah, I'd say just another maybe quality, another midfielder maybe. And then another defender, I think. I think that would be Celtic pretty much set, to be perfectly honest. Aaron Moy, he's a free. Aaron Moy, was he's an Australian guy, isn't he? Where does he play these days? Aaron Moy, he was at Brighton for a while, was he not? Is he still there? I'm in a field of dandelions. Shanghai Port. Oh, that's why. He was playing in Shanghai Port. He went out for a bag. Do you think he wants to come to Celtic after getting a big bag out in... Um, big bag out in China? He's won he Ho in his career. In fact, he won the championship playoffs in the A-League. Yeah, I mean, there is fair, some links, Aaron Moy and Fresh Celtic link. I think he'd be a decent signer, I suppose, Aaron Moy. He's... Is he midfielder, is he? I can't remember what he was. Yeah, midfield. Chinese Super League Club, Shanghai Port. Wow. Uh, hey, you, Jimmy's a strong midfielder and a big striker. Just Yakamaka's not a big striker, no? Now they will have a strong team. Staff out accident waiting to happen in the Champions League level. Here come Rapid Vienna now with another free kick. Ball in over the top. And again, cleared away there by Callum McGregor. McGregor doing his defensive part. Pushes that down that right-hand side. Okay, then predictions for this season. I know we haven't been... Uh, I know there's still a little while to go for the, to the start of the campaign. But let's do it. Celtic... Predictions then, shall we? Where is Celtic going to finish in the league, first and foremost? In fact, no, no, no. We'll do League Cup. Will Celtic win the League Cup this season? Let me know down there in the live chat. Will Celtic win the League Cup this season? Let me know down there in the old live chat. To be fair, cups are quite hard to predict. Okay, let's go League. League. Will Celtic win the League this year? Will Celtic retain the title? Let me know down there in the live chat. 
Oh, there's a chance there again from Rapid, but Celtic just clearing that one away. And my other question for you is how far do you think Celtic will get in Europe this year? Obviously, in the Champions League group stage, as at the moment, of course, qualified as they won the league. No qualifiers this year, just straight into the Champions League group stages. But will they progress? Will they go and qualify for the Champions League? A. Uh, or B, would they qualify for the Europa League? Or do you think Celtic will finish rock bottom and just go out of Europe altogether by December? Let me know down there in the old uh, in the live chat. Martin Ross thinks Celtic will win the league. Basher Boy says yes. Lewis Sim says nah, no hope. Stephen Welsh there just clearing that one away. Ball forward yet again. It's over the top there pretty well. And just cleared away yet again. Eduardo says no Celtic will get put out of the Europe as you early as usual. Rangers will win the league. Ball forward here again now for Vienna. Oh, good chance, Celtic. Good header away there by Callum McGregor again. Callum McGregor's absolutely everywhere. Certainly defensively and going forward. He's a part of absolutely everything in that midfield. Michael says Celtic champions again, possibly Aberdeen second. Sharpie says Michael's on glue. Ball sent in again now from the corner kick from Rapid Vienna. Cleared away again there by Celtic. And dealt with yet again. Now goes out for another corner. Rapid having a spell of domination in this game. However, no goal to show for it. Celtic 1-0 up after Matt O'Reilly converted earlier on in the first half. Looks like Rapid have got another corner on that left-hand side now as they look to try and get an equaliser. Ball in. Again, decent punch away there by Joe Hart. Comes back in again now from Vienna. Headed away there by Celtic's defence with Vickers. Now back out to that right-hand side here again now with Vienna. Ball in over the top. Into the area yet again. Here's a chance now for Vienna. And again, blocked there by Celtic. Comes back to the home side now, though. Celtic get the ball back. And now a counter-attack could be on, it's on the cards. Here's Yakimakis. And Yakimakis brought down there by the charging bank Vienna defence. How the referee says a, a good tackle. And there's no foul there. But Celtic do regain possession. Here's a Tate. Hitate forward. Cleared away again there by Vienna. Hitate on the ball yet again. Here's O'Reilly. O'Reilly forward. Now back through to Carter Vickers. McGregor. McGregor back over to Vickers again. McGregor forward. Finds a way through to Joe Hart. Joe Hart out there on the halfway line as he's involved in the build-up. Celtic coming forward again now with Stephen Welsh. Down this left-hand side now. Here again. Here comes Bernabe, one of Celtic's new signings. Ball into the air and again cleared away by the home side. Here's Jota. Jota forward. Back over to Vic uh, sorry, back over to Stephen Welsh. Now Vickers again. Um... Okay, let me know, guys. Where do you think Celtic will finish in the Champions League? How far do you think Celtic will go in Europe this year? Do you think Celtic will qualify for the Champions League? Do you think they'll qualify for the Europa League? Or do you think they'll go out of the groups by Christmas? Let me know down there in the live chat. Obviously, Celtic do have a bit of a hoodoo when it comes to European knockout games. There's been some decent results over the years in terms of group matches. You know, your Lazio's, Barcelona's, uh, and things like that. But, you know, knockout games haven't been Celtic's forte over the last sort of 17 years. Could they finally put that to bed uh, this season. Let me know how far do you think Celtic will go in Europe this year. Let me know down there in that live chat. Um, Vienna now going on a counter-attack. Ball forward again. Celtic just clear that one away again. Ball over the top. Now he gets back through into the area. Here comes Itate. Itate back over to Agidi. Agidi back over to Vickers. Vickers finds a way through back through to Stephen Welsh. Now Welsh looking to try and find an option. Finds Yakimakis. Yakimakis back to Atate. 
Hatate forward. Celtic moving through yet again. Oh, a decent chance there. Looks to try and put Hatate through, but blocked there again by the Rapid Vienna defence. Uh, hey, you, Jimmy says Celtic will get to the quarterfinals. What, the Champions League? I mean, I think Scottish side's really last 16 quarterfinal. I mean, we've seen Benfica and Porto and all that get to the quarters, so I could see a Scottish side get into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I, I think I could see it. Ball into the area again then for Celtic, but Rapid Vienna back on the ball. As we've approached half an hour here in this friendly. Guys, if you are enjoying the content, I know it's a friendly, it's not that exciting, but at least it's something to watch, do you know what I mean? Can't stand, sorry, the women's Euros, I'm not watching that, unfortunately. Um, I was going to pick an MLS side and go with it this year. Um, I liked the look of that LA derby yesterday, but I just couldn't get, just couldn't get into it. No, to be fair, I'm telling a lie, I just couldn't watch it. I didn't watch it last night. I was going to watch it, but... Oh, my God. Joe Hart nearly making a mistake. Oh, Vienna again. Opportunity. Oh, and there's an equaliser. What happened there? Joe Hart pissing around at the back. And uh, Celtic have conceded after that mistake there from Joe Hart. Uh, Vienna back on level terms. Just need to see that again. As I was talking about El Trafico, the goal came out of nowhere there from Vienna. Surprised how uh, Joe Hart... What the hell was Joe Hart playing at? Ball came in. Joe Hart, instead of just clearing it out, got tackled by uh, their number 29 and Rapid Vienna just put it into the back of the net. Poor, poor from Hart. Probably, if he was unsure, he should have just knocked it out. Um... Hart with a ball at his feet isn't good, but a good bit of play there from the, the home side, Austria. Uh, sorry, I keep calling it Austria. Uh, there's two. There's one called Austria Vienna and one called uh, Rapid Vienna. This is Rapid Vienna. Uh, but a decent equaliser there for them. Just showing intent, never giving up. And Celtic, um, oh, sorry, Rapid Vienna have equalised. Uh, Matt O'Reilly scored class of Matt O'Reilly Aribo. Most likely knocked out by Christmas, but guaranteed money just to be in the group stage, which gives stability, structure in place for the future. But, you know, I, I always say this. I know um, there's a thing about you as a, as fans. You don't care about the money. The money's not for you. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, it's for the club. But, you know, you want to have that excitement in European football. That was magical what happened last year with Rangers. It was... Such a beautiful journey that lives in the, in the memory for the rest of your life. You know, you want one of those those journeys to go on yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm all for this thing with Scottish teams need money and all this is to stay uh, stability. But I'd much rather get to the Europa League final and play in the Europa League than than go and finish fourth in the Champions League. Do you know what I mean? I I know there's some glamour ties there and then, but you know, you want to be able to progress i think both celtic and rangers should be aiming for third in the champions league should rangers qualify um they should be going for third in the champions league and then going for a run in the europa league after christmas i always feel that's like uh that should be a thing um yes champions league may be a bit too far look rangers celtic never going to win the champions league or probably ever get to the semi-finals of the champions league in this day and age unless you get a decent run but definitely 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 should be competing in the europa league uh going far in the Europa League. Semi-finals, quarter-finals should just be the given and the norm, season in, season out. Get to the Champions League, get the money, finish third, and go on a Europa League run. Um, I think that's what both old firm sides should be uh, focusing on. I love European football. I, don't we, I love the domestic game as well, but... Joe Hart has two or three of them a game. He's just been lucky to get away with them recently. One, yeah, well, I would say simple kind of man. You know, this was my unpopular opinion uh, for, for Celtic fans. 
Um, and I said this when Benjamin Segrist signed. I think Benjamin Segrist will, will, is a better goalkeeper than Joe Hart. I, I know Celtic fans won't want to hear that. I know the ones had the better career. I know Joe Hart's had a better career. I'm not disputing that. And Joe Hart was pretty decent for Celtic last season. But I think I think Segrist is a better keeper. Like I really do. I again, it's an, it's going to be an unpopular opinion, but if Joe Hart does have brain farts, I think Segrist would be a really, really good number number two to just come in there and probably could take his place after a year, two years. I'm being honest. Um, I, I really think Segrist is, is, is better. The performances he had at Dundee United over the last couple of seasons have been fantastic. He really has. Um, and a good signing. Really good signing. Um, Hart's better than a dinosaur. McGregor, how many goals concede? I who's better now? Um... McGregor was stinking in the league, but some of his European performances, if you think back, some of the penalty save against, um, was it Savannah Zvezda, uh, Red Star Belgrade, and then a few saves in like against the uh, Dortmunds and, and those sort of likes. Uh, without McGregor, Rangers may have not got to the Europa League final. So yeah, I, I agree that his domestic performance was poor, but European wise, I think he was pretty good. Uh, Villarreal are on our level. Look at them last season. Yeah, I suppose that's your simple kind of man. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I see that, mate. I see that. Uh, realistic, Dan, don't get the money back like the SPL sides. English, sorry, give Celtic Rangers 100 million each. Seagrass is decent, to be fair. When teams come at us, we don't know what to do. We can't play St. Mirren every week. Sparky Malarkey says Simon Jordan said heart is shit. Um, I don't think he's... I just think Seagrass is better if I'm perfectly honest. I'm, being, I'm just being honest with you. Um, I, as I say, I'm not disputing that. I think Hart's had the better career. Of course he has. But I just think goalkeeper-wise, if I've... I think, I don't know. I think Seagrass is... I've been really impressed by him um, at Dundee United over the years. I really have. I think he's been fantastic. Here comes Vienna again now, pushing forward as they look to try and find a second hit. Number seven come down that right hand side. Chance for Vienna again. And blocked there by Celtic. Here comes Rio Atate. And uh, we're just about 10 minutes away from half time, troops. Thanks for tuning in. No one at Transmit this weekend, no? <laughs> it's Matt O'Reilly. Just woke. No, Michael, it's not true, mate. It's not true. Timothy McTim. I don't get it. Oh, you, you're tr uh, like um, you're trolling. I thought you were a Celtic fan. I was thinking, actually, what is he going on about? Here's a Tate again. Tate forward. Troops, if you haven't already, can you give us a give us a wee like on the uh, give, give us a wee like on the video, please, man? I'm trying to get this up to uh, 100 likes. That'd be fantastic. Um, and subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff as well. As uh, plenty of football to come up over the next couple of weeks. I say loads of friendly games coming up. We've got um, Rangers tonight. Rangers v Sunderland tonight. Uh, Celtic like playing Blackburn, Norwich, and someone else. Uh, Legia Warsaw this this time. Um, and then we've got Champions League qualifiers coming up. We've got the Europa League playoff qualifiers as well with Hart and Belovian. So much stuff uh, going on in terms of Scottish football, in terms of August and July. So, yeah, we're starting to get back to busy. And these live streams are going to start again as I uh, dust the cobwebs off. Here comes Agidi. Agidi down that right-hand side and cleared away. Huh says, would love to see Celtic and Rangers slapped into the Premier League to see how good they would do. I'm always I'm always apprehensive about that in terms of, yeah, you know, it's the Premier League is good, right? But I think it'd be a novelty for a couple of years. You know, you're playing in these sort of games. But realistically, you know, you're competing for the like, top six, top four. As long as you're getting European spots each year, you're not winning trophies as much, though. Do you know what I mean? So it's like... In your uh, in the own in the SPL, you, you know you play for for trophies, but then you can test yourself against the Europeans 
best and have challenges in 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 the matches in the Europa League and the Champions League and that stuff as well. And if you're not playing much European football, I don't know if I would swap that. Do you know what I mean? I just you just become another normal side in the Premier League, just like a team that chases top six or tries to get into the, the finish seventh and eighth and that, and it just becomes boring after a while, I think. John Duncan says, for all the Rangers fans out there, as of February, the year auditors, HMRC. I mean, Rangers made loads of money last season, John, man. You must be living under a rock, bud. Here comes Hart. Here's Stephen Welsh again. Hart's blemming bomb scare, isn't he, at the back? <laughs> I think Pep got rid of him because he, he didn't play well with the ball at his feet. But that brain fart he did earlier on there. Silly, silly, silly. I know it's pre-season, it's early days, second back game of pre-season, but still should be making those sort of mistakes at this level. John loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> Here comes McGregor again. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Joe Arebo has officially left Rangers there for the Jazz fans. Ball forward here again now for Hatate. Hatate down that right hand side, cleared away there again by Celtic. Now comes down that left hand side. Five minutes to go till half time here. Rapid Vienna one, Celtic one. O'Reilly opened the scoring for Celtic and then. Um, Joe Hart, with a bit of a mistake at the back, caused uh, Rapid Vienna's equaliser. Since then, both have been going at it, but no sign of any of these teams taking the lead. Good to see Citizen TV. Hope you're well, mate. Long time no see. Here comes uh, Stephen Welsh again. Down that left-hand side. Ball forward, blocked again there by Celtic, cleared away again. Here's Rapid Vienna now. Oh, it's a mistake there by Vienna. And now it's a chance for Yakamakis. Yakamakis down the right hand side, Celtic back into the area again. And again, just blocked there by Vienna. Well, something's happened outside my flat. Horn. Now is another chance here for Celtic with Atate. Atate over the top now here again. Now is Agidi. Agidi back into the area and again Vienna just winning the ball back. And that's dealt with perfectly. Good to see you, Citizen. I hope you will. Uh, to the first six weeks of the worst. I stopped for three months. It was awful. Was this weed, was it? Shit. Don't do that, boys. Don't do that. Oh, here's a chance for Celtic. Now it's an opportunity for Yakamakis. Oh, what a save there by the goalkeeper. Yakamakis. I thought I was in the back of the net. And the goalkeeper making a terrific save there for the home side. Ball came in initially. Oh, what a pass. Oh, Yakamakis should be finishing that one. But again, the keeper got to it. Decent save there. Nicholas Hedl is the name. Vienna back in possession. Now Vienna moving forward. He's rapid. Oh, rapid now nearly getting a second goal. But again, Hart just coming out to claim that one. Ball forward here from Yakimakis again. Yakimakis now over the top. Nice switch play there again from Celtic. Over to finds Jota. Yota forward. Lovely bit of skill there from the Portuguese. Man, he's not an international. Is he a Portuguese international? No, he's not an international. Not yet. Maybe one day. Who would, who plays it up in... 
Who plays as a right winger in the Portuguese national team? Can he get into that side? Sorry, guys. Yeah, a couple of minutes till half time now. Guys, nearly there. Still 1 1 here between these two. Vienna down that right hand side yet again. Oh, a little chance there. Pushed round. And now is a chance for the home side yet again. Vienna. Oh, finds some space. Decent pass in. Vienna now with a chance. Ball into the box. And uh, nearly found a way through. Blocked and cleared away again there from. Celtic, in fact, that comes off a green and white jersey. That's going to go out for a uh, Celtic, uh, Celtic goal kick. Here's Jota again. Jota forward. Jota hits it over the top. Back through to Callum McGregor. McGregor finds Carter Vickers. Vickers through yet again. And again, cleared away there again by Celtic. Who has the better side in your opinion, says Daniel Sweeney? In terms of what, man? Between these two teams? Vienna and Celtic? It's been fairly even, if I'm being honest with you. Celtic have probably had the best chances. Uh, some decent saves from the goalkeeper, but there's not much in the match, to be perfectly honest. You can tell both teams are in pre-season. They're, you know, rusty. Both teams are rusty. Say Hart looks rustier out of the two goalkeepers. The goalkeeper looks pretty sharp for the uh, the Vienna side, to be fair. Celtic not done too bad. Callum McGregor's been fantastic for Celtic. McGregor's been really, really good. Been absolutely everywhere. Ball forward yet again. It's it over the top. There's McGregor yet again. Now F through to Vienna. Vienna back through into the area. Chance for Vienna and blocked again there by Celtic. And there you go. There's the halftime whistle, ladies and gentlemen. 1-1 uh, here in Austria. And uh, we could get a reset of both teams now as we're going to get some minutes in the legs of other players. But yeah, big shout out to you all, guys. I'm going to uh, just go grab a sort of drink. Um... Yeah, and just chill for a second, and I'll be back in a little while. But hope you uh, enjoyed the first half. If you did, do us a massive favor and hit that like button. We're trying to get to 100 likes by the end of today's stream. Uh, for the Glasgow Rangers fans in here, we've got Rangers versus Sunderland a bit later on this evening, 8 o'clock. Um, and then, yeah, it's going to be uh, a good thing me. Listen in everyone that you will be mine. Cool. Right. I think that's the tunes on, is it? Just getting some tunes on for the halftime break. Hold up. Um, audio output. There we go. That's it. Right, guys, we'll be back.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're well. Just turning the tunes off. Um, yeah, because the sack troops. Reloading the second half. 1-1. Uh, Look, so 1-1 one, one from that first half there between Celtic and Rapid Vienna. Um, you know, both teams had their moments. Uh, Joe Hart made a mistake, really, leading to uh, Rapid Vienna's goal. It was O'Reilly who took the lead with 10 minutes on the clock. Then, as I say, Zimmerman uh, scored on the half-hour mark. Uh, been a fairly even game, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, you can tell both sides are obviously in pre-season. Uh, standout player for me for Celtic is Callum McGregor. Been absolutely everywhere. And uh, standout player for the Vienna has actually been the goalkeeper. The two saves... Um, that he pulled off against Yakimakis were pretty fantastic. Oh, classic. This arguing in, in the live chats. La loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Big brown warrior here as well. Good to see you, sir. Hope you're well. Who would win out of a fight between Giovanni and Ange? Um, I mean, you'd probably have to go with the obvious. Ange, I'd say, probably. I don't know, unless Gio, like... I'm just going with that sort of bigger rule, like he's bigger... Sort of good bloke, I suppose, but, you know. Yeah, to be fair, I do think Rangers do need a uh, stadium extension, if I'm honest with you. I think 55,000, maybe 55, 57,000 would be a decent sweetener. Maybe Celtics one's a bit too big for Celtic in terms of like the actual home games and stuff like that. Like Not not, not obviously European games and old firm matches, but like games like against St. Mirren and stuff like that. The place is empty quite a lot of the time. Not empty, but like, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's empty seats kind of at the stadium, so... Um, yeah. All right, I think we're about to get underway here, guys, for the second half. And then we've got the another big game tonight. Rangers versus Sunderland at 8 o'clock. That's a horrendous Geordie accent, or a Mackham accent, should I say. 8 o'clock. 
Good to see you, David King, mate. Hope you're well. Andrew says Geo can outrun him. Yeah, I'd say Geo would win in a race if you're doing that. Again, I'm just being, uh, I'm just looking at the, the basics when it comes to this. Yeah, here we go, guys. I'm going to have a look at the second half. Usually in these preseason games, teams turn their uh, attention in terms of bringing complete new um, team lineup. So we'll just check to see if Celtic have made any changes for the second half. Uh, just give me a second. I don't know. I think they've changed their goal. No, they've kept the goalkeeper, Nicholas Hedl. Hedl. Are they making changes or are they waiting until like the 60th to do it? Right, the Vienna players are out. Celtic players aren't just yet. Well, cheers, Robert. No, I don't think so, but I think keep it to keep it to YouTube is more my my field, man. Um, yeah, for the Rangers fans that are in here, guys, Joe Rebo's put his goodbye post out on Twitter and Instagram. And for the Celtic fans, the Celtic rumor at the moment is regarding um, Jordan Larson. There you go. There's a question for the Celtic faithful in here. Jordan Larson to Celtic this summer, yes or no? Let me know down there in the live chat. Jordan Larson to Celtic this summer, yes or no? Uh, Greg Taylor, yes. Yeah, so Celtic have made some changes. Let's have a little read as to who the players have come on here for Celtic. Kyogo Furuhashi's on the park here for Celtic. Greg Taylor's on the park here for Celtic. The Blue Baroon. Is that the Red Baroon, but change the Blue Baroon? And here we go. Rapid Vienna get us underway here for the second half, guys. 1-1 uh, for that first half. O'Reilly was the man who opened the scoring for Celtic. And... Um, Vienna have got their equalizer on the half hour mark. Here we go again now here for Uzazi Agidi. Agidi moving forward. And now here's another chance here for Celtic. Celtic forward. Blocked there by Rapid Vienna. Back in possession here with Joe Hart. As he distributes that ball out to that right hand side yet again. Ah, good to see you, Blue Room. Why did you change the name for? Da, 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 da. Ball over the top. There's another chance, and that goes back out of play. Kyogo trying to get onto that one. Do I ever tell you guys on this live show? I think I have told this story before. I actually seen Kyogo in his Porsche the other week. No, when I first moved to Glasgow, I seen uh, Kyogo outside Asda in his in his Porsche. I got a photo of him in his car. <laughs> well, the bird did. Another free kick there again. Ball over the top yet again. Cleared away there again from Celtic. Back out of play. Comes the ball back here again with the goalkeeper. Michael McCurry says Celtic too superior for Scottish football. Hits it over the top. Cleared away again that back through. Let's see, I need to get confirmation of some of these changes. I didn't actually get confirmation. I did see Greg Taylor on the part though. And Kyogo Furuhashi. So. Yeah, so they got Bain in goal. Agidi stays on. Julian Lowell, Taylor McCarthy, Idigushi, Turnbull, Forrest, Abada, and Kyogo. Yeah, so a lot of changes there from Celtic side of things. What's up with the timer? God knows, man. It's just 
from Fort Mob. I'll try and reset it. Two seconds. See if it resets. Here comes James Forrest now down that right hand side. He's just tackled down there by the Rapid Vienna man. That's going to be a free kick there to Celtic. Agidi still playing. Agidi, one of the few that's actually still on the park from the first half. Agidi. No, he's the only player from the first half that's still on the park. Yeah, Agidi playing the full 90 by the looks of things. Here's Julian. A lot of talks that Julian was going to be on his way out. Said uh, he was going to be going to Schalke on loan. That was reports were suggesting. However, that deal looks like it's collapsed. Schalke, of course, getting promotion from the Bundesliga 2 last season. Johnny Austria. Good to see you, man. Is this guy a hun? <laughs> this guy a hun. Why is it always hun? Why do people call you hun? Hun. What's that? <laughs> it's like so derogative, isn't it? Is this guy a hun? <laughs> Anyway, one of the, I think it looks like one of the Rapid boys is uh, going off injured. So if, if there's any Vienna fans in here, it's number 24. He's holding his leg, got a ponytail. Here's Julian again. Julian's huge, isn't he? He's massive. He's so big. Good to see McBob, Bob McMob. Hope you're well, lad. Good so far, Blue Baroon, mate. I'm gonna to be to be fair, man. I'm gonna discuss that on the Rangers v Sunderland match at the start. I'm gonna discuss some of the Rangers business. Um, yeah, not too bad. I think both of the old firm sides have done well in terms of doing business. I think Celtic now need to bring a couple more players in. Look, I'm not saying I think Celtic's business in terms of getting Carter Vickers and Jota has been really, really good, but it's still the same side from last season. Do you know what I mean? In terms of getting Jota and Vickers is good business, but uh, maybe you need to add a bit more quality uh, for going into next season. I think Celtic will, as I say, there's talks of Jordan Larson. There's talks of um, that midfielder. What's his name? Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. Um, Souza. Souza, that's his name. Souza. Yeah, there's talks of Souza. Um, and I think, that, I think Celtic need another centre-back, if I'm honest. Fast tank, I know what it means, man. I know what it is. I know I'm 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 pulling your pisser, bud. I'm pulling your pisser. Susa, yeah, that's it. Susa. Uh Julian now down the right hand side yet again. Ball over the top. Uh but yeah, Celtic fans, would you want Jordan Larson? Let me know down there in the live chat. Do you want Jordan Larson at the club? This summer, the return of a Larson. And should he get number seven shirt taking it off Yakamakus? Do you think that should be the thing? Do you think Celtic should do that? Souza is signed for Espanyo. Has he? Is that facts, is it? Is that facts, is it? I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, he has. There you go. Fair play to you, man. I didn't know that. Oh, he's gone on loan. He's joined on loan. Was that always going to be the case on loan? A tenga, Mike. Thank you, Andrew. Most dominant and successful team in S Scotland and world is Glasgow Celtic. Huh.
No, that's what I was saying, Fast Tank. I said, I think Celtic do need another centre back because I don't think, as much as Stephen Welsh isn't that bad, I, I don't think he's good enough for, you know, as you just said there, if someone gets injured, is he is he good enough to stand the ground long term? You've kind of got to do that sort of what if test in, in terms of if, if he's going to be out for four months, if a player is going to be out for four months, which, you know, sometimes unprecedented things happen, would Welsh be able to, to do the job for four months? You know what I mean? Um, I think maybe Julian could. I think Julian's all right. But then again, he's 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 made out of Weetabix as well. So, um, you know, yeah, I think Celtic do need another centre-back that can come in just in case one of those players get injured. In terms of squad depth as well, I just don't think Stephen Welsh is going to be good enough for Celtic full-time. But, look, you know, people, people prove you wrong. Do you know what I mean? Um... I felt Forrest getting a new contract was a bit dodgy, do you not think? Twenty six degrees out in five, Jesus. I think it's quite warm in Glasgow as well. Glasgow. Rangers FC says, what do you think? In terms of what? Jerry says, Celtic have done nine in a row twice and best defence and attack last season. Fact, says Gary. Don't know, man. I don't know about that. Nah, joking. Yeah, Celtic, Celtic rightfully won the league last season. They were, they were great... Um, in terms of our oh, ball comes back into the air again, just a good little clearance there again from Agidi. Uh, yeah, Celtic, yeah, well deserved the league last season. Um, great, consistent, especially in that second half of the season, really, really consistent. Um, didn't look like dropping points at all, but definitely they need to go into next season trying to improve their European game, um, as well. I mean, the Champions League, big step up, massive step up, of course. Um, and Celtic really should be, as I was saying about Rangers as well, both teams should be trying to finish third in the Champions League group stages and going for a run into the uh, into the Europa. I think that would be good for Scottish football. And it's just entertaining anyway as fans to, to go as far as you can in the in the Europa League and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, signed a three-year deal this morning, mate. Forrest isn't the player he used to be, says Aidan O'Neill. I mean, yeah, he's, he's torrid by injury. He's a good player. But I, what I think Celtic are trying to do is just try and see him out as a as a one-club player. So he could be a bit of a bit part player for us. I mean, he's all right, but um, he's definitely not the player he was sort of under that Brendan Rodgers era for Celtic. So for me, yeah, he's more of like to add squad depth. And, you know, he probably doesn't mind. He's 30 now, probably just being a player. Oh, what a finish! And Celtic have taken the lead again. And it looks like it. it's David Turnbull, by the looks of things there, that scored the second goal. Good bit, a bit of play there from Celtic as they find the lead once more in this match. 2-1. And a good bit of play. And I think it was Kyogo who may have set that one up. Or was, was it Forrester speaking of the devil? Uh, what do you think with the Fulgini links with Rangers? Um, again, that's true. That's very, very, very true. I think Rangers are in negotiations and are confident they can sign both of those players this summer, uh, is what reports are suggesting. Uh, yeah, it was Kyogo there with the assist. Ball back into that, into the air, into the box. And yeah, Turnbull just tapped it into the back of the net. Good finish. And Celtic 2-1 up here in Vienna. Uh, Sharpie says Rangers threw the league away last season. Dan, let's be honest here. Um, I mean, there's this debate that you can say that, of course, but at the same time, um, Celtic won crucial matches against Rangers in terms of, I think, what, did it end six points? Did it end six points in terms of the league, the league, the league title? So, yeah, you can say that Rangers dropped silly points and silly games, but then again, you can make an argument that Celtic dropped points, silly points and silly games, i.e. Yakimakis missing that penalty that turned, um, a potential last minute win against Livingston into a draw. But then if you look at the both the old firm games, obviously Rangers won the first one, Celtic then won the second one. But when it came to that one at Ibrox again, Celtic went on win again at Ibrox and managed to get three points there, which I think is a big three points. Um 
so yeah, you, you know, you've got to give Celtic their credit in terms of winning it. I don't think you can lose a league. You can I mean, you certainly. The other side has to be good enough to to actually win the division as well. So that's what that's what I would say on that that point. But yeah, Rangers didn't do themselves justice in terms of Ross County last minute goal against them and Motherwell when they were two 0 up at Ibrox and you know bits and bits and pieces like that. But you know Celtic won the all important old firm games and um, I think you know due uh, with all due respect, right rightfully so winners. Uh, Mark Robertson says, uh, we had a change of manager in the way he played mid-season. We saw we took a time to adjust, expect to improve in Europe, we'll prove it again this year. This is Mark Robertson. Again, I agree. I think I think Gio is a fantastic manager for Rangers. I really do. Um, I think he's better. Step up from Steven Gerrard. Um, and yeah, of course, look, you, when you change your manager halfway through a season, you are going to get disruptions. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll see. It's going to be an interesting campaign this year. It really, really is. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the fight as well. Um, but yeah, that's what happens. Mark Robertson says, looking forward to VAR coming. Oh yeah. That's a shout, by the way. VAR's coming in. Um, but not at the start of the season. So half the season's going to be without VAR and half the season's going to be with VAR. Again, I don't, I'm not a big fan on that. I think to keep the integrity of the, the, the league campaign, I think, you either do the whole season with VAR or you do the whole season with no VAR. I think bringing it halfway in and it kind of ruins the integrity of the competition ever so slightly. So um, I'm not a fan of it coming halfway through, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes. I think there is a bias towards the both old firm sides when it comes to decisions. So it'll be interesting to see if both Rangers and Celtic get the decisions over the the sort of smaller teams um so that'll be interesting to see uh, but i don't think too much will change it'll be good in terms of the fine margins getting sort of sorted out you know we send the dodgy linesmen on both sides as well both on Celtic and rangers both sides uh i just don't think the linesmen i don't think there's a bias there i just think i just don't think they're competent enough i just don't think the officials are that good in scotland unfortunately so it'll be good to try and iron those out and uh Yes, just see, just see how we how we how we get on. But then again, VAR still makes mistakes. Um, you know, Rangers were a victim of it in in the Europa League. Uh, teams have been a victim of it in the Premier League in terms of a, a goal that should have counted but didn't, even if it went to VAR. Here's Lila Barda now down that right hand side, cleared away again. Uh... Mad though, is it? This a whole season. That's mad though. I thought it was the whole season. Makes sense. <laughs> Sean Heaton says Celtic will go unbeaten in the in the league this season. I don't think we're going to see that anymore, man. I, I've always said this for a little while. Um, I think gone are the days now in terms of all this sort of two, like five in a row, six in a rows, and all that sort of stuff. I, I think gone are the days now in terms of these massive league campaign differences, like a team losing or team winning the league by 20, 30 points. I think those days are gone. I think unbeaten seasons are gone. I think everything's going to be really, really tight now. And I think that's good. It's good. It's good. Like that. It reminds me of the noughties where everything was so uh, tight. The league was quite competitive. Mark Robertson said it's not their full time job. They need to start be aware, free trained, and put VAR in from the start. KP boy. VAR. Nah, VARs. I, I, I'm, I'm all for VAR, to be honest. If it's anything like the Europa League, Champions League style of VAR, not Premier League one, but the rulers, where they get the rulers out and stuff like that. But if it's anything like, oh, good header there, boy. Oh, good save. Oh, it's in the back of the net and Rapid Vienna have got another equaliser. Good save initially by Joe Hart, but on the rebound and the follow-up there, Rapid Vienna get a second in this one and it's back to level pegging. Rapid Vienna 2, Celtic 2. And a good initial save there from Joe Hart, but the follow-up there just ruined it for him. 
And Vienna back on level terms again here. 25 minutes left to play here in Vienna. 2-2 is the score. Yeah, just followed up there. It's Bain. Sorry, it's not Joe Hart. It was Bain. Bain's in goal, isn't he? Bain's in goal. Sorry. Bain. Forgot Bain was even at Celtic still. Ker Kerwak is the uh, goal scorer there. <laughs> yeah, happy days. Sharpie loves it. Go on rapid, he says. Josh Norwood says offside. It was 2-2, two, two, I think. Yeah, definitely. No, no, no VAR in these friendly games, lad, unfortunately. <laughs> Waste of cash. It's all just a bit of fun anyway, these friendlies. Just to get the minutes up. I was interested in something about Ben Foster. He actually gave quite a good insight into friendly matches, believe it or not. And Ben Foster said that when he ever played friendlies, apart from a Manchester United, all the managers that he played under in terms of the friendlies, the, the manager would literally just say, I don't care about the score. I don't care if you win. I don't care if you lose. What I want you to do is make sure that you uh, get your stats up in terms of run this a certain amount of miles, uh, run this certain amount, yeah, run this certain amount of distance, uh, make this amount of touches, the, the sort of things just get into the area just to get the fitness back into the legs. Um, so yeah, that's what he was saying about, uh, pre-season games, just to give you a bit of a weird insight. And that's someone who's played at the sort of top in the Premier League. He said, apart from Man United though, when he was at Man United, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson expected them all to win, uh, pre-season games. Get in rapid all the way, says David King. Oh, Celtic there again, and there we go. 3-2 to Celtic. Kyogo finishing that one. 25 minutes to go. Celtic back in the lead yes again. For the third time in this game, Kyogo scores. And uh, yeah, Furuhashi makes it 3-2 here to Celtic. Oh yeah, I must admit as well, Troops, by the way, I've got um, a bit of an update here on this channel. Good goal there by Kyogo. Boom. Good finish. Good pass in there as well into the box. If he stays fit this season, Kyogo, he could be dangerous for Celtic. You know, he's just worried. The only thing problem with him is he's just constantly injured, isn't he? He missed probably half a season with injuries last season. But when he was fit, he was an unbelievable player for Celtic. Um, but it's about trying to get a full season out of him this season, I think. If Celtic can get that, then he's going to be dangerous, Kyogo. Legend Gaming says, guys, go and watch Lightning Champion. Bit of self-promo, is it, bud? No, I mean, if you want to go watch Lightning Champion troops, do it if you want. Tiny bit laggy. Again, tiny bit laggy. I actually bought an Ethernet cable, so we should be all right soon. Um, yeah, but anyway, troops, the update for the channel is the guys have actually got all the channels now. So, um... Yeah, there's no more streams and stuff like that. So we're going to be ready to go. I bought I bought it all. I bought all the packages. Don't worry, I've got it all. BT, Sky Sports, Premier Sports this year. He's going, all that sort of stuff is a thing of the past. Um, and yeah, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be able to watch all the games up to speed. So there you go. There's my update to the channel, Troops. Who is winning the league this year, in your opinion, says Daniel Sweeney. Oofed. Um, hard to say right now, mate. Really, really hard to say right now uh, because players haven't been brought in. Players haven't been brought in yet. That I think both teams are still going to be bringing in a fair few amount of players. Um, Yeah, fair few amount of players. Um, so it'll be interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll make my score, my, my score prediction. I'll be making my title predictions come the end of, well, probably at the start of August or something like that. Um, so we'll see what happens. 
I think we're lagging a tiny bit. Sorry, troops, for the, the visual. I'll try and sort that out. Players haven't been brought in yet. That I think both teams are still going to be bringing in a fair few amount of players. Yeah, we are lagging ever so slightly there, troops. Sorry about the lag. Cheers, Josh Norwood, mate. Here comes uh, Rapid Vienna again. Down that right-hand side as they look to try and find another equaliser. So Celtic have taken the lead three times in this game. Matt O'Reilly, uh, Turnbull and Kyogo. Turnbull, again, a forgotten man at Celtic. He could be a big player for Celtic this season. I've always felt he's fairly much, pretty much overlooked, Turnbull. He's, whenever he's played at Celtic since joining, he's always kind of stood out. Aidan O'Neill says all these football packages are a rip-off. So expensive nowadays. Mate, that's what it is. Hopefully they just go on to all the one channel soon. As I say, I think Premier Sports is going to take over everything in Scottish football related. If they can stump, stump up the money for the TV rights, pay better than Sky, then I think I think Premier Sports would be a good package. Because they're the sort of the new kids on the block, aren't they? They've They've taken over all the cup games now for Scottish football. They're taking over the friendlies, the qualifiers and stuff like that for Rangers sales. They've got good coverage as well. They've got that, the whole old BT setup. So I think when the uh, when the Sky Sports deal expires with the league, then I think maybe look into Bravey Premier Sports um, and just having it all over there on, on, on there. But we'll see what happens. Oh, here comes Vienna again. Down that right-hand side. Oh, chance and cleared away there by Julian. Jesus, I'm sweltering, man. I've literally got the sun shining through the window. I've got a big window there. So it's like, all oh, right, I mean, I'm wearing joggers as well. I need to get out of these. <laughs> Ready to go for the Jazz game at 8 o'clock. An hour and a half until that game kicks off. We've got a couple minutes. Sorry, 20 minutes left of this one. Rapid Vienna now with another corner. Pull back into the area. Headed away there again by Vienna, and that goes back out of play. It's going to go out for another goal kick here for Celtic. Still nil-nil in that Zenit St. Petersburg game versus Spartak Moscow, the uh, Russian Super Cup. Ball back into the area now for Rapid Vienna, and there's an offside flag there on the Vienna player. Right call there by the linesman. Could you make a video on the Fulgini rumours? There is, mate. Check big Rangers transfer news. It's uh, on there, buddy. Today's video is about Fulgini. Law looks decent, might get some game time this year. Yeah. In fact, there was a question I wanted to ask Celtic fans. What do you think of the Karamoko Dambele leaving Celtic this season? What was the... What's your thoughts on that? You know, everything sort of... Over the last five, six years, there's so much talk been about Karamoko Dembele and all this hype. And now he's playing for Troyes, I think. I think I've got that right. He's playing for some French team anyway. I can't remember who it was. But um, yeah, what are your thoughts on, on him leaving? Never really given a shot. I mean, he was, he was hit with an injury last season. That was really, really unfortunate. But yeah, never worked out for him. Yeah, Joe Arebo confirmed on uh, Rangers Football Club have posted about Joe Arebo leaving. He's now at Southampton. There you go, troops. That's all confirmed. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Ball 
Ball out for another corner here for Rapid Vienna. LT135 says Dembele not good enough. Think he had a bit of an attitude problem, says Sean. I mean, he had like, I think he's got like a million followers on Instagram as well, man. He, he's like a superstar sort of thing before he was even a first team player. He just went viral on social media, didn't he? I remember the video coming up. All that skill. Jim McEwen. John Mitchell, good to see you, lad. Hartman Lovian, Europe this year, eh? Looking forward to that one. Hearts in the Europa League. The same Aribo that was said to be worth 30 million, says Sean Heaton. Sad to see Joe Haribo go. He was a bit of a mixed bag, though. I think, I think he's a decent player. I think he's an alright player. Well, Rangers just said on their on their Twitter, Rangers can today can, uh, Rangers can today confirm the transfer of Joe Haribo to Southampton for a significant undisclosed fee. Aribo has served Rangers with distinction in the last three seasons and leaves with the best wishes of everyone at Ibrox. So, uh, yeah, he's just left there. Why do Rangers always say undisclosed fee? He's a good player, to be fair. Fifteen minutes left in this game, troops. Still two three. Celtic winning three two. I'm sorry for the slight lag on this live stream, guys. I'm sorry about that one. I can't sort it out just yet. Nice free win for Hearts today. What was the score for Hearts? Here comes Celtic again now. Taylor. Taylor down that right-hand side. Another chance for Celtic again over the top. Ball forward. Nice little pass into there again. Here's Forrest. Forrest back into the area. Now a chance for Celtic again. And then that tackled away. Goes out for a corner. And Celtic now have a corner hit on that left-hand side. Oh, I don't know why I'm so laggy, troops. Sorry about this. Different year, same lag. We'll change the camera resolution down a tiny bit. Let's see what happens. We'll stick it on like that. Maybe that lag will stop a tiny bit. I zoomed in version of me. You got my head here, right here, boys. All over the top yet again now. Four. Michael Army wins. Michael Army wins. Glasgow Celtic champions. I'm hoping this uh, lag is stopped now. Ball forward here again from Rapid Vienna. Stop saying troops is hey you, Jimmy. I'll say what I want. My stream, bud. If Celtic play England, who will you be supporting? Well, I'm English, so... <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, we've signed Matondo. Dundil says the Blue Baroon. Seriously, not angry in any shape or form, but I do honestly think you need, you need watching and require help urgently. Yeah, I don't know why my stream's so laggy, troops. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> 
Sunderland to win 2 0, says Martin Ross. Wow. Well, that's the next game, though, guys. If you are watching, we have got another one. I'm going to sort this this uh, thing out. I'm going to try and get another net, my Evernet cable set up for it and be ready to go. I've got a uh, for better internet. Oh, forward again there. Cleared away by Rapid. T Boat says, must be getting a few bobs of these ads done. Sponsored by Audi. <laughs> Nah, man. Um, maybe restart the stream. Nah, I, I, I was going to see how now. It's got about 10 minutes left. Hearts have scored 17 goals so far in pre-season with no goals. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I've never heard of Tom Lawrence since a Seems a poor signing. But you say these with the Scottish players, whether anyone signs Celtic Rangers, you probably never heard of Lila Barda before Celtic signed them. You probably never heard of Morelos before Rangers signed them. So, you know, these unknown players, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's good. You probably never heard of Joe Rebo. You never probably heard of uh, Virgil van Dyke. You never probably heard of all these, these players. You know, I don't, I don't buy into that crap that people go, oh, yeah, I've never heard of this player or, or whatever. So what, man? They come good, they come good. That's what it's all about. They don't have to be a big name. We've seen so many times when the actual big names come to Scotland, they don't actually come up with the goods. Ramsey, uh, Duffy, and uh, McCarthy, and all these people that come up the road and, and, and kind of try and do things all the time. But yeah, it is what it is. They, they won't... Um... I don't have a problem with unknown players. We're Glasgow Celtic. <laughs> Ball over the top here again from Celtic as they gave that one a chase and cleared away there by Scott Bain. Scott Bain hitting that one over the top here again. Ten minutes left to play. Ball goes back out of for another throw in. And Vienna looking to try and find an equaliser with ten minutes to go. Celtic trying to see this one out. Ball forward there again from Rapid. Hits it over the top. And goes back out of play. Another one there by Vienna. Vienna 4D yet again. Cleared away. Oh, here come Vienna again into the area. Celtic need to deal with this one. Oh, I nearly tipped that one in there, Vienna player. But that goes out of play and out for another Celtic goal kick. Yeah, my poor laptop can't handle the uh, the bandwidth for the second. Here comes uh, Rapid Vienna again, just outside the box. Little layoff. And again, cleared away there by them. Oh, there's a chance. Here's Rapid Vienna. Celtic pissing around at the back. Oh, Celtic let off the hook there. Bain raging. Not who sure that was. Who's number 50? Julian. He's stinking, man. What the hell was he doing there? Crazy man. I haven't seen the Celtic third kit yet. I've just seen the uh, the first one that you're on about there. Okay, we we'll just keep audio for now, troops. We we'll just keep a bit of the audio for now. Just trying to let the streams catch up. We can't catch up with the video just now for some weird reason. So we'll just keep audio for a second. Oh, here comes Rapid Vienna again. Celtic's defense needs to be careful. Who are these people? Who's number 50? He looks like a bit of a bomb scare. Who is that? Number 50. Ball forward, back down that right-hand side yet again. Here's another chance for them. Celtic back forward, Turnbull getting caught up in it. 
Now it's another little ball down the left-hand side. Celtic looking to try and find their fourth and probably see out this game. Kill off this game. Sorry, it's Kyogo. Blocks again there by Vienna. And that gets hit over the top yet again. <laughs> Rapid Vienna, another forward ball. Oh, here's another chance for Rapid. They're back in behind that Celtic defence. Celtic defence, man. Jesus me. I know Julian's number two, but he's all over. Who's number 50? He's all, absolutely all over the place. Mental. Crazy fish. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. It's going out for another corner by the looks of things. All forward yet again. Mm, cleared it away. It was back out of play. In fact, the goalkeeper, I think, Baines down on the deck. Oh, number 26. Sorry, it's one of the Celtic defenders. Is that Gidi? Yeah, Osazi Gidi's gone down hurt. Thank God. It's very unfortunate, Gidi, isn't he? I mean, he didn't really get much game time last season. He went out on loan to Belgium. He's played pretty much the full 90 minutes today. And he finds himself injured as things stand. Five minutes to go here in Vienna between Celtic and Rapid. It looks like Gidi's injured. Pull forward yet again now for the both of them. Now it's Julian. Julian down that right-hand side. Chance for them. Julian all the way the other way again now. A bit off topic, but I like eating these buffalo blue pretzels. Sounds good, mate. Sounds good. Another ball hit over the top there from Rapid Vienna. They look to try and find a way through. And gets cleared away. Yeah, we can just see a blue screen. Yeah, it's because my camera's lagging. I can't be asked for my, my thing just being pure pixelated. So I'm just trying to let the let it, let it go down. Just, just we'll just keep it audio for a second, guys. Just keep it with audio for now. We've got five minutes left. And Rapid Vienna coming forward again with another free kick. What time is it in the game? There's four minutes left. Four minutes left in this match. We all real ones like a blue screen. <laughs> yeah, five minutes left. Rapid Vienna now with a uh, theme. I'll try and put the video back on for a second. Why not? Let's we'll stick it on for a sec. There you go. We'll see what that. Let's see if this laptop can handle it. Ball back into the box again. Cleared away there by Rapid. Goes back out for another corner. Rapid Vienna over this one. Hits it into the area. Chance. Oh, Rapid has a shot there. Just goes wide at the post. Sweltering, man. Here's Osazi Agidi. Agidi forward. Who scored the goals for Celtic? It was Matt O'Reilly, Turnbull, and um, Kyogo. Here's Bain. Bain forward. Now back through to Agidi. Rapid forward yet again now into the area as they look for it. Ball brought down. Decent tackle there. Rapid fans are claiming for a penalty. Celtic carry on. Good decision there by the referee. 
Craig White says uh, Burner Bay struggled today and Julian is crap to casual on the ball. I don't rate Julian. I remember a lot of people rated him for a while, but I don't think he's that good, to be perfectly honest, if I'm being honest with you. Be honest with you, not that good. I am going to be doing the game. I'll be back live in about an hour's time, guys. An hour's time. Uh, hopefully the internet will be a tiny bit better. I don't know why I'm so laggy today, but you know what? We'll sort it out. I've got an Ethernet cable, but it's just about sorting it out. Ball forward, blocked away again that. Now back over to Celtic, is a giddy. Over the top, Celtic back forward yet again. Now it's Turnbull, cleared away there by Rapid Vienna. Dealt with again there nicely. Um, Julian getting out on the shot window. No going to do him any favours for a move away the way he's playing today. <laughs> yeah, he's not good. I don't know. He was quite quick back in the day, wasn't he? But yeah, he's old now and he's 29, 30. I say old, I mean, he's all right. He could probably do a job somewhere, probably in like the French League or something. League 2 or something. League 2. Here's Turnbull. Blocked again there by Rapid. Rapid going for one last push to try and find an equaliser. Celtic 